It can happen in a flash or with a splash. Hot liquid and steam burns like fire and can result in serious injury. As the men and women who serve you in emergencies, many of the calls we respond to result from liquid or steam burns. It's important for you to know that there's plenty you can do to prevent burns from hot liquids or steam, especially if you're caring for young children or someone older in a home. In fact, nearly half of all liquid or steam burns are suffered by children too young for school, and older folks being cared for at home are also at higher risk for suffering burn injuries. The main sources of liquid or steam injuries are spills of all kinds, hot coffee, tea, food tipped off a counter or dropped while being carried, even food or beverages being cooked in a microwave. Bathrooms are also danger zones for liquid burns caused by water that's too hot for human contact. The good news is these burns are easy to prevent. Let's take a look at what you can do at home. For instance, in your kitchen, keep small appliance cords and all hot items such as coffee pots, crock pots, hot food, and beverage mugs away from the edge of counters and tables. Be sure to cook with rear burners and turn pan handles away from the stove front. And you should create a three foot, no kid zone, circle of safety around the stove and hot items. Sometimes the person most at risk for liquid or steam burns may be the child you're carrying while preparing or serving hot food or sitting in your lap while drinking a hot beverage. If a child bumps your arm in that situation, the resulting spill can cause a serious injury. That's why it is so important to use mugs with spill-resistant lids. Microwave ovens don't always heat foods and beverages evenly, so allow the food to cool before opening the door and then stir and test it, especially before serving a child. And always open lids or covering away from your face to allow hot steam to escape. Liquid and steam burns can also happen in a flash with a splash in your bathroom. So first, be sure that the temperature in your home's water heater is set no higher than 120 degrees or just below the medium setting. Next, test bath water, checking for hot spots since what's good for adults is sometimes too much for a child's tender skin. And test the water of any faucet by letting it run before letting children or older adults wash. We hope you'll follow these helpful steps to prevent injury but if you or someone in your care does suffer a liquid or steam burn, here's what you should do. Apply cool running water to the burned area and keep it in cool water for three minutes. Don't apply ice, butter, oils, or any lotions. And if the burn is over the size of a quarter or is on a joint, call your doctor or 911. Remember, it can happen in a flash or with a splash. Hot liquid and steam burns like fire and can result in serious injury. With these helpful tips from the National Scald Prevention Campaign, you can keep your loved ones and those you care for safe and sound.